currently midnight. I guess technically it's now uh, June 20, what, 26th, I guess. I'm just doing brakes on my friend Don's 2013 Honda Odyssey. I've already done one corner. Not going to be so much of a how-to, just bringing you along as I do it. Uh, hopefully it won't fight too much. The only thing that was of interest on the other side was the uh, caliper piston had actually punched a hole through the anti-noise shim on the back of the uh, inner pad. So that may have been causing some noise. They're not terribly worn, but they're worn enough to do. The van's got 257,000 kilometers and has never had brakes, which is a testament to Honda. Granted, there are a lot of highway miles, but still it's nine years old, maybe 10, and has never had brakes. So we just thought, you know what, it's time. Let's just do them all. We'll do the pads, we'll do the rotors, we'll do the whole nine yards. So the first thing we need to do is take off the two bolts here that retain the caliper. They're just a 12 millimeter bolt. Those out of the way. Give this a little squish. And there we are. So this again has got the shim actually stuck inside it. One pad. You can see there's a little bit of life there still, but um, just the way those shims have gone. Just old, that's all there is to it. The bolts back here to hold the caliper bracket are 17 millimeter. Like so. Caliper bracket comes off. It's a, oh, it's a shim, okay. Next thing we gotta do is get rid of this Phillips here you can use an impact driver if they really fight. I forgot mine at work, so oh, didn't fight. The other side fought a little harder, but good. Get yourself an eight millimeter bolt. Pop it into there. If we can, there we go. Is the sound of winning. That's it. Everything in here looks good, so you know there's not you're not gonna find much there anyway unless somebody's been driving with the parking brake on. As usual, it's Rock Auto to the rescue with a full brake kit for this vehicle. Uh, all four rotors and all the pads. Uh, comes with hardware and everything. This time I went with Power Stop uh, Evolution Coated. So again, they are coated against corrosion. Now I normally go with Raybestos with the Element 3, but because they don't make a full set for this vehicle, and uh, you know, I've kind of had some problems with that one rotor on my Patriot, and they don't seem too excited to help me out with that, so I'm going to give these a try. Make sure you line up your Phillips screw hole with that there. That shim fell out. The other thing we've got to do is take this little rubber guy out of here. It's easy it's just to push it through, actually. A little inspection hole or whatever. Are. These ones are quite nice. They have kind of a, a golden color to them. It's kind of unique. I haven't seen that on any before. So it looks kind of nice. Not that you'll ever see it again, of course. Torque spec on those is 65 pound feet. Good. So these are full ceramic pads. It's the Z17, is there what they call it. Uh, on the inner pad, squealer goes on the bottom. They give you a little packet of lubricant, which is nice. Just a little bit on the ends. Don't get any on the friction surface, of course, just logical. Oh, 
it up. In this case, we don't need any fancy tools to retract the piston. Just a seat clamp will do nicely. Take some of your lube, a little bit on the piston there. So we don't want it to wear through that shoe again, or that pad rather. Take a fairly large amount, comparatively I guess, because we're going to lubricate the entire inside face of the caliper here. Slide the caliper into place. While we're here, we should make sure that yeah, pins slide nicely. And get those two little bolts. They're over here somewhere underneath the rotor. And the torque on those is 25 pound-feet. Once those are torqued up, we put the wheel on. And that's it for this side. Go stomp on the brakes and make sure that the piston is pushed out and we can move on to the front. I should make mention of the fact that I haven't got jack stands under this. I don't recommend it. I couldn't find any good spots under the back to put jack stands. Uh, so I'm just relying on the jack. I do know that if this jack lowers all the way down, the rotor is not going to hit the ground because it's quite tall and I'm not going underneath it. But really, it should be on jack stands just because it's late. Uh, you know, poor, poor example. Just, you know, if you're doing it at home, throw a jack stand under there. Find somewhere to put one. Uh, as far as the front brakes go, the layout is very similar to the rear. Obviously, they're slightly larger. Uh, Basically, we're going to trade our 17 mil and 12 mil sockets in for 19 and 14. So with bigger bolts comes bigger torque, but there's lots of room in here to get the impact to get these uh, bolts off. So calipers off. If these uh, spin, you can put a 19 millimeter wrench on here to keep them from spinning. Some other differences compared to the rear are you have two pistons in your calipers, so they're a little harder to retract. And you have these little metal just retainers they just pop out and then just like on the rear you pull your pads out and these are quite a little bit more worn than the than the rear ones technically still serviceable but just again because of the noise and the age we're just changing them out yes i'm using non-impact sockets again bad person. These aren't uh, that much torque. The most torque is uh, 100 pound-feet on these. Really should just get a set of impact sockets for here. Uh, you know, hey, go buy a shirt or uh, some stickers or something from our uh, Teespring store and then maybe we can afford to get some impact sockets. That'd be nice. All right, from here, Rotor comes off the same way. Of course, there's no park brake inside to worry about. So basically from here, it's the same as on the rear. The caliper mount bolts are torqued to, uh, or bracket bolts rather, are torqued to 101 pound feet. And the caliper bolts themselves are torqued to 37 pound feet. This side's all back together. If I could offer one piece of advice for doing this, you know, if, uh, if you've never done brakes before and you have a Honda Odyssey and you want to tackle it, uh, go for it. It's really not that challenging. The only piece of advice I can really give you is don't be an idiot like me and start at 11 o'clock at night. Why would you do that to yourself? That's just crazy. If you'd like to see more really badly made decisions, uh, you can support the channel by liking this video, leave us a comment in the comment section. Better yet, hit that subscribe button. Doesn't cost you anything but a second. It really helps me out though and helps convince YouTube to show the world our videos. Uh, so I really appreciate that. And uh, I appreciate those of you that have already subscribed. Thank you very much. I'm going to get this wheel back on, get the other side done and head to bed. Until next time, keep her in the litter box. Cheers. Mm -hmm.